intense creatrix in stillness wrought. Her power fallen speechless grew more intimate. She looked upon the seen and unforeseen. Unguessed domains she made her native field. She, the goddess of inspiration, pierced the guarded mysteries of the world force. Now, with a lighting speed, she has landed herself in the soul of Ashwapati. She arrives as a sudden messenger. She arrives as a sudden, unexpected visitor, the inexpressible truth at once reveals herself to him. The primordial nations is rent. The close beyond itself has opened out to Ashwapati. She arrives, the goddess of inspiration, she arrives she plunders for man the vast state of the unknowable. In the swiftness, immortal worlds rush to mortal man with that arrival of the goddess. Ashwapati receives the knowledge of powers of the light and force. The Vedic goddesses, Dakshina, Ida, Saraswati, Mahi are now his guides and his companions. They respond to the invocation, even as Agni calls the gods to attain the cosmic yajna, the cosmic sacrifice. May Dakshina, Yura, Saraswati, Mahi give birth to bliss, Mayasa. You birth in the soul of man, birth of bliss in the soul of man. It is this chant, it is this hymn, this very hymn which is raised in the praise of these goddesses. Saraswati is Sundruta, the word of blissful truth. Ida is the word of truth. She is full of energy. So Ida. She who brings knowledge to man. Saraswati is truth oration. Shruti, which gives the inspired word. Ida represents truth vision. Drishti. These are the two powers of the Rishi. Shruti and Drishti, all is now Bhadram, auspicious, mayasa, blissful, love and bliss. Swasti, the good state of existence has come, the state of right being. The divine truth has been stolen by the enemy to the gods and it is kept hidden secret in the caves, in the deep cave of darkness. It has to be discovered and given back to the aspirant soul. The soul set on the spiritual path. The Rishi must gain access to it. The truth, the divine truth, kept hidden by the enemies in the cave. Ashwapati has become the Rishi. He has now the knowledge of the divine truth which was hidden in the deep cave.